The Kraft Foods Company presents Willard Waterman as the Great Gildersleeve. The Great Gildersleeve is brought to you, transcribed, by the Kraft Foods Company. Twenty years ago, the Kraft Foods Company introduced a wonderful new salad dressing, a superbly smooth, delicious-tasting salad dressing called Miracle Whip. Miracle Whip was so remarkably good that it soon became the most popular salad dressing ever created. Now Miracle Whip outsells the next 20 leading brands of salad dressing combined, and good cooks everywhere depend on it to make their salads better tasting. To bring out the best in your salads, use the one and only Miracle Whip salad dressing. Now, let's look in on the great Gildersleeve. It's about 9 o'clock of a Saturday morning, and we find our portly water commissioner standing before the mirror in his room, applying the finishing touches to his attire for the day. As he carefully ties his tie... He appraises the reflection of himself and finds it... Yes. Well, not bad. No, sir, not bad at all. Gildersleeve, you're a lot of man. <laughs> you're a little heavy, maybe. But I'm not fat. Just ample. <laughs> After all, what woman likes a man skimpy? <laughs> hey, like I'm full-figured. Like me. You bet. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like to know how you tie one of these darn bow ties. Mine always ends up looking like a four-bladed windmill. Excuse me! What is it, Bertie? You dressed? Yes. I brought up the town of my hat. You mentioned last night you wanted to wear it today. Oh, fine. Thanks, Bertie. Say, looks nice. I used salt and lemon juice on it. Took out them watermelon spots you picked up at the 4th of July picnic. Yeah. Right, George, it still fits, too. How do I look? Oh, you look nice. In them white duck pants, that blue and white blazer, and that Panama hat, you're a real Yankee doodle dandy. Well, thank you. You stepping out today, Miss Gilsey? Yep. A little outing in the country with Miss Kelly and a few friends from City Hall. That's nice. Yeah, the girls are putting up the picnic lunches. We're going out to Poplar Grove. Nothing like getting out with a jolly crowd, Bertie. Yes, sir. You better listen for the phone. Miss Kelly's going to call me when she's ready to leave. Yes, sir. I'll listen for it. Darn necktie. Coming loose again. Hey, by the way, Bertie, where's Leroy? Haven't heard him banging around this morning. Oh, he's around someplace. <laughs> Little Leroy's kind of loose ends these days. He can't seem to find anything to do. Well, that's the way it is with boys in August. Particularly these modern kids. There isn't a circus going on every day. They don't know what to do with themselves. Well, you just don't have nobody to play with. All his friends have gone away. Oh, posh. That's the trouble with kids nowadays, Bertie. Think they have to have a crowd around or they can't live. It's a weakness of modern youth. Can't stand to be alone. Uh, George, when I was a boy, I learned to be content with my own company. Is that the phone? I didn't hear nothing. Yeah, the crowd is supposed to meet in front of the city hall at 9.30. I should be hearing from Miss Kelly. Yes, sir. And don't worry about Leroy, Bertie. Things get a little dull for him in August. He'll be happy to get back to school in September. The heck I will. Oop. Leroy, where are you? I was just going upstairs and heard you talking about school. Don't talk about it, Unc. Sorry, my boy. You going to need anything else, Miss Kill, please? No, just listen for the phone, Bertie. Yes, sir. What are you all dolled up for, Unc? Are we going someplace? Well, I'm going someplace, Leroy. I have a date to meet some friends at the city hall. In that outfit? You going to play in the band? Hey. No. The Loudy. Miss Kelly and several other couples. Can I go? No, no, not this time. Oh, why not, Unc? I won't get in the way. Leroy, you don't even know what this is. Well, you said it was an outing. I like outings. All I've had is innings. I'm ready for an outing. <laughs> is my collar straight in the back? Yeah, pull your shirt down. It's sticking up over your coat. Yeah, yeah. Can I go with you, Unc? Can I? Not this time, Leroy. You stay here and play. Play with who? There's nobody to play with. All the kids are gone someplace. I'm the only kid left in the neighborhood. No, Leroy. Everybody's gone. Even the dogs have gone. Only thing left here is me. Nothing to do. 
Well, ride your bicycle. It's got a flat tire. <laughs> we'll fix it. That'll give you something to do. I've got nothing to fix it with. Well, find something. Where? Yeah, I don't know. Look. Will you help me look? Uh, no, Leroy. I'm waiting for Miss Kelly to call right now. I have to leave in just a few minutes. Oh, heck. What do I do, Unc? Find something to do. This is a good chance to prove to yourself that you can get along and have fun without depending on other people. Be independent, like me. Don't rely on others. Was that the phone? I didn't hear anything. Yeah, I'm going downstairs. Now, take my advice, my boy, and find yourself something to do. The happiest moments in life are those spent in pleasant pastimes of one's own creation. Settle down with a good book. I don't want to read. Well, take a nice long walk. Think. Get acquainted with yourself. What for? I've known myself for years. Oh. <laughs> my goodness. You're not trying. Now go find something to do. Enjoy yourself. Have fun. But I... Uh... You heard me. Go have fun. Okay. What a life. What a boy. Uncle Mort. Uncle Mort. Oh, Margie. Uh, I'm upstairs, my dear. Coming right down. Well, don't you look nice? Yeah, thank you, my dear. What's the occasion? Are you marching in a parade? No. <laughs> a little outing in the country with a few friends. Uh, George Merritt Williger thinks he's a fashion plate. Wait till I show up in these duck pants. He'll be green with envy. Oh, is the mayor going along? Yeah. Kind of a city hall picnic. But there'll be a lot of interesting people there, too. Yeah, I'm taking Miss Kelly. What's Leroy doing? I don't know. He's out in the kitchen dreaming up some wild idea. Well, good. He's finding things to do for himself. Yeah, how are things over at your house? Pretty quiet. Bronco took the twins over to his mother's for the day. And I have the house all clean and the dishes done, so I thought I'd come over and see what you were doing. Well, I have a pretty busy day ahead. Oh. Well, there didn't seem to be anything to do around the house. Seems like everybody's away on vacation. No, Marjorie, you're sounding just like Leroy. What do you mean? Nothing to do. Simply because you don't have a crowd of people around doesn't mean there aren't a lot of things to do. Well, I've done all the sewing and the laundry's done. Yeah, that's not what I mean. You must learn to treasure the quiet hours you can spend by yourself. That's the time when your mind should awaken, become creative and ingenious. That's the time that's all yours, when you're free to do all the things you wanted to do. I never thought of it quite that way. Uh, there's nothing more stimulating than the freedom and independence of being alone for a few hours. Being able to use your time profitably. Maybe you're right, Unky. Well, have a nice time on the picnic. Yeah, thank you, my dear. You leaving? Uh, yes, I'll see you later, Unky. Fine. Now, there's an intelligent girl. Yes, sir, Gildersleeve, she's learned a lot from you. <laughs> uh, well, my May Kelly doesn't call. Oh, probably busy putting up the lunch, making deviled eggs. Sounds like Leroy. <laughs> Bertie, where's Leroy? He found something to do, he's doing like you told him. What's this? He found something to do by himself, like you told him. Come here to the window. See him out there on the front lawn? Well, what do you know? A lemonade stand. Ain't that something? He took my advice, Bertie. You know, raising youngsters is no problem if you know how to do it. I found lemonade! What the hell he's doing? I gave him plenty of lemonade. He's ready. I found lemonade! Get your cold lemonade here! Just five cents a glass! Ice cold lemonade! Lemonade! Get your ice cold lemonade! Five cents!
lemonade business. No, don't give up. This is your own business. You're doing it by yourself, and that's what counts. Yeah. In fact, I'll buy a glass of your lemonade myself. What's the current price? Well, it was down a minute ago, but I think it's back up again. Five cents? Yeah, I'll take a glass. Here you are. Thank you. And there's your nickel. Thanks. How many have you sold so far? This makes one. <laughs> ah. Well, don't be discouraged. You're learning a lesson that your old uncle learned a long time ago. Be self-sufficient. Be able to get along by yourself. Yeah. Well, I've got to hurry along. I'm going to try to get to Peavy's and back before Miss Kelly calls. See you later, my boy. So long, Aunt. I call him an aid. One cent a glass. Oh, one cent. What an operator. <laughs> What can I do for you this morning? You can give me a handful of cigars, Petey, and I'm in a big hurry. All right. What kind of cigars would you like? Well, I'm going on a picnic. What kind of cigars would you suggest? You want something to keep the mosquitoes away? <laughs> no, give me a light cigar. Something festive. This isn't the nature of a party, you know, Petey. Oh, you want something that'll explode? <laughs> Maybe stop pulling my leg and give me some cigars. Some good ones. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just put a little witticism in now and then. It just kind of brightens up the day. Yes, yes. Leroy going with you on the picnic? No, Leroy's staying home today. Yeah, I'm mighty proud of that boy, Petey. He's following right along in the footsteps of his uncle. You don't say. <laughs> you bet. No crowd follower, that boy. He's completely sufficient unto himself. Perfectly happy to be alone. Well, that's unusual for a boy. Yeah, I know it is, but I've taught him. You know the old saying, Petey, as the wind blows, so bends the tree. <laughs> plenty of wind around here, Joe. <laughs> Excuse me while I answer your phone. Here, go right ahead. I have to be going anyway, expecting a call at home. Petey's family, see? Yes, he's here. Was oh, that for me, Petey? What was that again? Peavy, is that for me? I, I didn't get that. Peavy, is that call for me? Oh, he's here. <laughs> Grumpy druggist. Now, what was that? Yes. Yeah, all right, Bertie, I'll tell him. Hey, goodbye. Hey, was that Bertie? What she want? Uh, she wanted me to convey a message to you. Well, convey it. She said Miss Kelly called. Oh, great. I'm on my way. Miss Kelly said the picnic's been called off. Well, I'll be over her house and you called off? Who called it off? Don't ask me. I just told you what Bernie said. Confounded PV, they can't do that. Well, you should have told them sooner. They've already done it. <laughs> well, I've been planning on this for a week. Even bought these white duck pants, especially for the occasion. Well, they're not lost. A good pair of pants always comes in handy. Well, those sneaky things to do. Here I am, all dressed up and no place to go. <laughs> Why don't you go home? <laughs> By George, that's what I will do. To heck with the picture. I'll go home and get Marjorie and Leroy, and we'll have a picnic of our own. I thought you were a fellow who was sufficient unto himself, perfectly happy with his own company. Peavy, you're a nosy old character. No, I am perfectly happy with my own company, but I'm not selfish. I'm perfectly willing to let other people be happy with it, too. Out of my way, Peavy, I'm going home. <laughs> Greg Gildersleeve will be back in just a minute. Tonight, we have a wonderful idea for your next company luncheon. That time when the bridge club meets or an old friend comes to town. Something like that. This idea starts with crab meat salad. A very delicious crab meat salad. To make it, mix the crab meat with diced celery and chopped hard-cooked eggs. Then mix in plenty of smooth, delicious Miracle Whip salad dressing. Miracle Whip will give that salad just the lively, teasing flavor you want it to have. Miracle Whip has a very special flavor, one that you won't find in any other salad dressing. 
That's because Miracle Whip is made from a secret craft recipe, one that combines the qualities of old-fashioned boil dressing and fine, rich mayonnaise. You'll notice that Miracle Whip is perfectly smooth and creamy thick. That's because this salad dressing is blended thoroughly with special Kraft beaters. Now, to do something special with this crab meat salad, take some hard rolls and cut a slice from the top of each one. Then scoop out part of the insides and stuff those good crispy rolls with the crab meat salad. There. Now, heat up some of your favorite canned soup and you have a wonderful lunch. Take home a jar of Miracle Whip tomorrow. Then you can enjoy all kinds of tempting salads at their delicious best. It's America's favorite salad dressing, the one and only Miracle Whip. Well, this morning, the great Gildersleeve pointed to himself as a shining example of a man who can be perfectly satisfied with his own company. Of course, at the time he made these remarks, our water commissioner was preparing to go to a picnic at Poplar Grove. Now, the picnic has been canceled. Well, no sense in wasting the day. I'll stop by the house and pick up Leroy. We'll jump in the car and go someplace. You can't expect the boy to be able to manage alone as well as I do. Yeah, there he is, in his little stand. Hey, get your comics here! Funny get your funny books here. Hey, some kid with him. Never saw him before. Hi, huh? Hello, Leroy. We thought you'd gone. Aren't you going on the picnic? Yeah, well, that's been sort of postponed for the time being. Yeah, I was thinking, Leroy, that perhaps you and I... Hey, I got a new friend, Unc. This is Diz. He just moved in down the next block. Diz, this is my uncle. Hi. Hello, Diz. Leroy, as I was saying, I thought possibly... This is a keen guy, aren't you, Diz? Yeah. <laughs> we got a whole new business going, Unc. This reads a lot, so he brought down all his old comic books and we were selling them. Sold ten already. Yeah, that's fine. But I was just thinking, if you fellows would like to go to the ball, ball game... No, I don't think we should go to the ball game. Why not? We couldn't sell many comic books there. Who? No, we're busy, Unc. We got a lot of projects. Thanks a lot anyway, Unc. Yeah, but fellows, wait. We don't have to go to the ball game. We could do something else. Yeah, I have the whole day. We could go out to the lake and go fishing. Yeah, I'll bet you'd like that, wouldn't you? I don't care for fish. Me either. Leroy, you always want to go fishing, and you know it. I've changed. Me and Diz got plans. When we sell all this stuff, we're going to build a roller coaster in a vacant lot. Aren't we, Diz? Yeah. Diz goes to high school. He's smart as a whip, aren't you, Diz? Yeah. <laughs> well, all right. I didn't mean to intrude. That's okay. Yeah, that's okay, Unc. I just thought you boys might enjoy doing something. But if you don't want to. Hey, get your comic books here! Big comic books! A million last for a nickel! Leroy, I said... What'd you say, Unc? Well, I said... Hey, Diz, get that kid across the street. He wants a comic. Come right up, Buster! What are you saying, Unc? Uh, never mind. <laughs> found that Diz. Can't understand what he sees in him. That boy picks up with mighty strange friends, it seems to me. Oh, well. I'll drop in and see Marjorie. Poor kid's probably lonely. Bronco and the twins away. Yoo-hoo! Marjorie! It's me, your Uncle Mark. Come on in, Uncle. I'm back in the sunroom. Oh? <laughs> Getting a little sun, are you? No. Just sitting here reading. Poor child. All alone. Nothing to do. Oh, I'm getting along fine, Anki. Well, I got to think of you all here all by yourself. Lonely. But I'm not lonely. Yeah, I decided by George, since the picnic was called off, that you and I could go downtown this afternoon. That'd cheer you up, wouldn't it? Anki, I don't need cheering up. No, Margie, don't tell me what you don't need. Every girl likes to go shopping, so hop it up and get ready. But I don't want to go shopping. I'm happy right here. Alone. Stubborn girl. You gave me something to think about this morning, Auntie. I never realized before how much I could enjoy being alone. I'm having a wonderful time. I'm reading a book I've wanted to read for years and never had the time. Book. Don't you want to sit down, Auntie? No. 
No, I'm pretty busy. You want a Coke or something? No. Well, I just stopped in to be sure you weren't lonely. Well, I'm not. Well, that's good. <laughs> I better go home now. I have a lot of things to do. Goodbye, Auntie. If you get lonesome, you call me. Oh, I will. Goodbye. Bye. Wonder what Bertie's doing. You know, one advantage of having the kids living next door, it doesn't take long to get home. Who's there? It's me, Bertie. Door, Mr. Gillespie. Yeah, I just stopped over to see Marjorie. How's she getting along over there alone? Oh, she's being brave about it. Keeping a stiff upper lip. You know, Marjorie. What are you doing, Bertie? Cooking. Oh. Yeah, I got your message at Phoebe's drugstore. Too bad the picnic was called off. Oh, it doesn't matter to me. You know, I don't have to have people around. In fact, I'm much happier when I'm alone. Naturally independent, I guess. Yes, sir. Well, I'll just sit down here in the kitchen and talk to you for a while, Bertie. All right. <clears throat> so what are you cooking? Beans. Oh, beans are nice. My family always liked beans. You know, we had a lot of beans when I was a boy. <laughs> lot of nourishment in beans. Yeah. person could live on beans, I guess. In my family, we had mostly lima beans. Oh, lima beans are nice. We like them. <clears throat> well, I have a lot of things to do. I guess I'll go in the living room. Miss Gill, please? Hmm? You at loose end? Me? Certainly not. I'm going to enjoy being left alone for once. A lot of books I haven't had a chance to read. Now's my chance. Oh, don't you worry about me, Bertie. I ain't worried. Well, don't. I'll manage just fine. I love to read. Got a lot of fine books in here, too. Just been waiting for a chance to get at them. Yeah. Let's see what we have here on the shelf. Aunt Harriet's Household Hints. <laughs> Test of the Storm Country. The Recreation of Brian Kent. Hmm, not much there. Here, here's a copy of National Geographic. April 1923. <laughs> oh, well, doesn't make any difference. They're always interesting. Yeah. The Mysterious and Fascinating Habits of the Whooping Crane. <laughs> I can't go for that. Oh, oh. Must be something to do. Gildersleeve, why don't you admit it? You're at loose ends. I could go out to Leroy and insist that he go to the ball game. Nah, can't do that. Gildersleeve, you're an outcast. Just thrown aside like an old shoe. Asleep. No, I'm not asleep, boys. Just sitting here reading. You just sitting in here alone, reading? Well, yes. How do you do that? Oh, oh, she's got a philosophy. He has? No, Leroy, let's not... No kidding. He never gets lonesome for anybody. He can be content with his own company, can't you, Unc? Yes, in a way. What does he think about? He thinks about all kinds of stuff. He's got a brain. He likes to be alone, don't you, Unc? Well, sometimes, my boy. Hey, what are you fellas cooking up now? We're building a roller coaster in the vacant lot. Oh, that sounds pretty interesting. Yeah, but we don't want to bother you, Unc. Come on, dears. Unc's reading. You now, wait, wait. I'm just about finished reading. What kind of roller coasters do you fellas have in mind? We don't want to bother you, Mr. Gildersleeve. Confounded, stop saying you're bothering me. Yeah, I mean, I can put up with a little bothering now and then. If you fellas have a problem. We don't have any problem, Unc. You don't? We're just going out to the garage to get some tools. Oh. Sorry we bothered you, Mr. Gillisleeve. Yeah, we won't come through the house again, huh? Hard-headed kids. Leroy, this, wait. What you want? Uh, what are you going to use to build this roller coaster? Wood. Oh. Uh, where are you going to get the wood? 
Sid has a stack of it behind his garage. Well, all right, but what about nails? You have to have nails, you know. Oh, I got a whole bunch of nails. Oh. It, it's going to be a big job carrying all that wood from Dizzy's house to the vacant lot. You should have some help. No, nah, we can carry it. I could help you. Oh, no, Uncle. We don't want to disturb you. Leroy Forster, stop trying not to disturb me. Okay, we won't disturb you. Come on, Diz. Oh, Leroy, you come back here. What have we done? Nothing. You're just being plain bullheaded, that's all. If you and Diz are building a roller coaster, there has got to be a problem someplace. Now stop beating around the bush. But you were reading. I was not reading. Now, what's your problem? Search me. Do you have wheels for this roller coaster? Wheels? I forgot about it. Yeah, there, you see? You'd forgotten the wheels. <laughs> Fine roller coaster that would have been with no wheels. Guess we're stuck. We are not. That's the trouble with you kids today. You give up too easily. What are we going to do, huh? Well, you see, my boy, that's the way it goes. Whenever you have a problem, you're right back to your old uncle. Yeah, I don't know what you'd do if I went around to pull you out of these scrapes. Well, how about the wheels? Here you boys, go get in the car, and we'll run to the hardware store and see what they have. Oh, cool, man. Come on, Dad. You ladies that skill, please? Yes, Bertie. I have to take the boys down to the hardware store. Help them build a roller coaster or something. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, I don't know how I get into these things, Bertie. Well, you had to work pretty hard on this one, but you made it. <laughs> Want to make your vegetable salad extra delicious? Add tiny flowerettes of chilled raw cauliflower to it for a special flavor touch. And use a really good salad dressing. Use Miracle Whip, the salad dressing with the lively, teasing flavor, the flavor millions of folks call just right. Miracle Whip has a special peppy flavor you won't find in any other salad dressing anywhere. Try it. Enjoy delicious salads made with Miracle Whip. Hello, Bertie. For well, pity's sake, Mr. Gillsleeve, you're limping. What happened to you? Oh, nothing, Bertie. Just a few bruises. Your pants is torn. You got bushes in your hair. What you been doing? The roller coaster jumped the track. Well, how'd you get all torn up? I was on it. <laughs> what a day with those boys. <laughs> I guess just sitting alone here at home don't look so bad now. Well... Hey, Aunt, me and this got a keen idea for the night. Uh-oh. We'll go up in Johnson's woods with flashlights and trap owls. You want to come with us, pal? <laughs> oh. Or would you rather be alone? Get the flashlights, my boy. Oh, boy, huh? Good night, folks. <laughs> Production. The show is written by John Elliott, Andy White, and Paul Dez, and is transcribed. Included in the cast are Walter Tetley, Mary Lee Robb, Lillian Randolph, Tommy Cook, and Dick LeGrand. Musical compositions by Jack Meekin. This is John Easton saying good night for the Kraft Foods Company, makers of the famous line of Kraft quality food products. Be sure to listen in next Wednesday and every Wednesday for the further adventures of the Great Gildersleeve. Calling all sandwich makers, be on lookout for Miracle Sandwich Spread when you're shopping. Take a jar home and discover what a delicious, different flavor this wonderful spread gives your sandwiches. Miracle Sandwich Spread is made by Kraft, from America's favorite salad dressing, Miracle Whip, and spicy relishes. Use it along with the meat or cheese sandwich filling you like best, or for the quickest, easiest, tastiest sandwich you could want, use it alone between slices of bread. Get it tomorrow. Miracle Sandwich Spread. Tonight, enjoy the best of Groucho on NBC.